welcome to Ignition Core Studio. This is going to be the Hobby Basics Episode 1. And on this episode, we're going to learn some real basic uh, techniques and things and the fundamentals uh, with working in this hobby. Okay, so today I have this Terminator Captain from the Blood Angels uh, Crimson Strike uh, Force. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys the correct way to, I guess, harvest these uh, parts of the mini and how to clean them from mold lines and everything else. And then we're going to go over assembly and then the basics of uh, basing and priming. Okay? All right, so let's follow along. So first off, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to check out and see where if there's any bits that are like really, really small, for instance, like right here, I want to make sure I take a mental note and see if there's any points where it needs to be cut or if that's part of the flash. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to paint on the sprue. Myself, I'm not one of those. I like to actually have the miniature all put together and then I will go ahead and paint it. All right. So first off, what you're going to want to do is a couple of tools that you may need is as follows. Exacto knife, files of different sizes. You have the flats, the flat sides. Then you also have rounded, and then you have uh, edge uh, files. They all can be uh, used. Some people like to use them. Some people don't. Also, you'll be needing some clippers. Now, I actually have a few different uh, kinds of clippers, and. Uh, I'm actually going to use these ones. These are my better ones. Now you can also get these tools at Home Depot or Lowe's or things like that. You just need to look for the flat edged clippers. Now the skinnier they are, the lot uh, easier it is to work with because you'll be able to actually get in between the little cracks and crevices a lot easier. Okay. So I'm just going to move this off to the side and we're going to start clipping some things out. Now what you want to do is you want to use the very, very flat edge of this and you want to butt it up as far as you can against the mini and they'll come out. Now sometimes you may have pieces where if you cut them out they will like go flying across the room. So you just generally want to make sure that you have a good hold on whatever part that it is that you're clipping out. Okay. Boom. There you go. I got that first piece done. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through all this real quick. And I'm going to show you how to take care of all those pesky mold lines, as well as the sprue residue. And what I mean by sprue residue is, excuse me, sorry, uh, this right here. You see that little nub that's on the tip of the right there? You want to clean that off because if, when you come to painting the model, it just really isn't. Um, it's not very sightly, okay? Clip a little of these out. Now this model is actually gonna be used in further videos where I'll be going over uh, airbrushing as well as uh, brush painting, fine details, washes, bases, um, detail work, you know, all that good stuff right but I'm gonna try to do it in shorter amount of videos like 10 20 minute long videos just to keep it real easy try to keep it follow along and uh, we'll, we'll go from there so I'm actually really excited because I picked up the Blood Angels Crimson Spear Strike Force it's that battle force box uh, that came out a little bit ago. I picked that up as well as the new Indomitus Crusade box, which I should be getting here in the next couple days. Uh, I believe like one or two days. And uh, I will be painting both the Necrons on here as well as the Space Marines. And I will be doing the uh, Blood Angels chapter, obviously, because I'm going with, with what I have right now. Okay. All right, so I got all these pieces clipped out. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to start trimming them. I personally like to use an X-Acto knife. 
uh, but you can use the file as well. But I'm going to show you the safe way and the correct way of how to do this. Okay. First and foremost, make sure your blade is sharp. Okay. The duller the blade, the more uh, chance you have of it breaking, um, slipping, and cutting yourself. And I have scars all over my fingers, so take it from me. Okay. Uh, one of the things you can do too is you can buy these hobby blades. I got a hundred hundred blades off Amazon for I think it was like. 20 25 bucks maybe 30 at the very most and i've bought this probably a good i want to say three or four years ago and i still have a bunch of blades in here so buy it once and you won't ever have to buy it for a long time okay all right so first of all you want to make sure that you're cutting away from yourself so i'm going to find this little nub right here and i'm just gonna Kind of chip away at it. There we go. Okay. Boom. Got rid of it. Okay. Now you can also do the same thing right here at the edge of this. Just nice control, smooth movements. That's all you need to do. Okay. Here's another one. Okay. There we go. Now, removing mold lines and things like that, you can also use your hobby knife. And one of the things you can do is you just use, you can use the sharp end or you can use the back end. Uh, and you just use the back end to scrape mold lines off just like this. And they come right off. Okay. So there's an, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but there is kind of one right here on the edge. So we just kind of just run along the edge here. And it comes right off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go through this real quick and show you how I do this. Now on the top of these Space Marine character heads, a lot of times they'll have a mold line running right over the edge. So all you got to do is just, I'm using the sharp end, and just scrape it. Scrape it off the top, just like that. There you go, no mold line. I've been uh, I've been in this hobby for a very very long time. I started back when I was I'd say twelve, about twelve years old. So I've been in for about ooh, about twenty three years now. Uh, I do all the I do building. I love painting. Painting is my is my number one passion that I love to do. And uh, gaming, I like to game, but I don't get uh, I don't really get out much to uh to game i don't really have too much of a community where i'm at i would like to see that changed but hey you got to do what you got to do right especially with this whole uh <clears throat> virus thing that we have going on at the moment it's not exactly great for mingling so that's why hobbies like this are perfect for when you need to stay inside and you know Kind of be an introvert it's kind of a to me it's relaxing i love hobbying i love being able to create something whether it's a uh, full-blown armies or dioramas just single characters i even do some commissions uh, i'm actually currently working on uh like i said i do some blood angels some this is a work in progress I did some Sons of the Phoenix uh, a while back, as you can see here. If you guys want to see how to do one of these, I can definitely do a video on how I, how I do the uh, white armor. It's actually very easy. And uh, I got a few other projects I'm working on as well. Let's see, take care of this uh, shield. Now, when you get a small piece like this, be really, really careful, right? So you're gonna wanna make sure you get a good hold on it and using the, least amount of pressure you can just cut those little edges off right okay there we go like i said the sharper the blade the not just the easier but the safer it is okay for anybody that's out there that's you know a youngin we'll, uh, make sure you're being safe all right so I got this pieces off. There's another little piece right here. 
I'm a little anal retentive. I don't like seeing any type of uh, mold lines or anything like that. So I try to take care of those as, as soon as I possibly can. Now, you may run into a problem like this. I'm gonna bring this up to the camera here. See this, this right here, this line right there, that's a mold line. So we're just gonna scrape that part off. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do now is any veteran hobbyist will tell you to drill your barrels. And what you're gonna do is you need to get yourself one of these. This is called a pin vise, okay? And a pin vise is just a little tiny drill. It's just a hand drill that you can put different various uh, bits in. Uh, I got this one from the little uh, uh, tool kit. And I think it's like a 16th, I wanna say. Anyways, it's a, it's a really small drill. And you just gotta put it in your hand like this. Now, again, being careful because if you press too hard, you can actually go, you can either slip or just like that, or it can go through and into your hand. You don't wanna do that. So just lightly press and you just let the drill do the work. Sorry about that. Had uh, some technical difficulties there. So <laughs> had to figure that out. All right, so as I was saying, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is drill the barrels. The easy way to do it is grab your pin vise like this, it's just a small little drill. And uh, you're gonna wanna put just a couple little holes. They don't have to be super deep. Just like this. Okay, boom, and done. All right, so moving on from there. Now I have the last little pieces to do. You can also tell when your blade is starting to get dull is when it's like really, it's starting to have a lot more resistance for when you're cutting things like, um, especially if you're cutting something and all of a sudden it just kind of goes through and goes past your hand, that's usually a good time to, uh, to change your blade. So I, I, I tend to go through blades kind of quickly. Uh, but then again, I also do a lot of models. <laughs> so your, your mileage may vary. Let's put it that way. Okay. So I'm going to finish this up and we'll see how this goes. Okay. All right. Get the bottom of the feet. I know some people don't see it, but it will actually adhere, um, cause problems when you're trying to put it on the base. Okay, so I got all those pieces done. What now? Well, now's the fun part. Now you can start gluing stuff together. So I actually like to use this Gorilla Glue uh, gel because that way it doesn't just go running everywhere. Uh, the only thing you might want to watch out for is that it does tend to harden kind of quickly in the barrel uh, if you're not uh, if you're not using it. <laughs> so. Uh, real easy. You just kind of put just a little tiny bit, especially with super glue, a little bit goes a long way. So just kind of little dots here and there. Put the backing on. Just like this. Might want to hold it for a second or two. Now, might want to be careful where your fingers are because uh, you'll get you'll get super glue on your fingers, and if you touch the model. Now you're stuck to the model and you pull away, you'll actually see part of your own fingerprint on like dead skin and things like that on the model and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carry on here. It's always good to dry fit your models first, just to make sure that everything is gonna fit where they are gonna, where they need to. There we go. It's all coming together. Sometimes you'll feel them like a little snap. Okay. Now I'm actually gonna leave the cape off because this is gonna be something that I paint with the airbrush later on. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve that to the side. Along with this piece as well. 
Okay. So that means this arm's gonna get the treatment. Just a little, just a little bit of super glue on there. Now you can also use plastic glue. And plastic glue is actually really good for the plastic models because it creates, um, it kind of melts the plastic and they bond together and it pretty much becomes one single piece of plastic is how it works. Uh, I just so happen to have a surplus of super glue around, so that's what I use. Some people like to leave the head off. Again, I paint everything at once, so this is a pretty simple model. There we go. It's got a nice little slot for it there. It's going to be a pretty cool model when it's all finished. All right. Okay. And uh, I got this little shield here. I'm going to put the shield right, right there, that nice little spot. Now, here's an interesting tip that you can do. If you have a really, really small piece and you want to make sure that you have it in the right spot, Take your knife and just kind of just poke it just a little bit and it'll come right up and then you can bring it on and then you can just kind of manipulate it. There you go. Use the tip of your blade to uh, kind of move it around. There we go. And that should be good. Just like this. And you don't get anything and you don't get any uh, uh, super glue on your on your hand. go just get a little, little piece and that's some of these pieces are really really small and fiddly you can also use this spray I forget what it's called but essentially it's a hardener for super glue and uh, as soon as you get done uh, putting the model together you just give it a little spritz and it will stick it'll harden a lot faster now I have this 40 millimeter base, which is what the current uh, Terminators, I believe, stand on. And I'm just going to glue him to his base like this. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to give that minute to, uh, to dry and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so we're back and the super glue is now dry. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to basing. Now, there are different ways of basing. You can just get something like Citadel's texture 
uh, paint. And essentially what it is, it's just um, a very gloopy uh, material that has like grain and things like that in it. Uh, you can use a sculpting tool, for instance, something like this from GW. has a little uh, shovel on one end and a sculpting tool on the other. And you can just use this and apply this onto the base and you could essentially be done. But I'm going to show you a little bit more of an old fashioned and more traditional way of, uh, uh, of applying bases. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get some sand. Now this is actually uh, fine grain sand and coarse sand as well that I got the black sand from uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I got the main sand for like $5 off Amazon. So I got a little tin of it and this will last me for a very long time. I also have another little thing and this is called crushed glass. So it's not like real glass. I mean, it's like candy glass, but they have a really, really nice texture and rocky uh, outcroppings that will go really, really well on this model's base. So I'm gonna actually just gonna pick out just a couple. Just like that, okay. Now for glue, you can use, uh, I actually like to use the Gorilla uh, wood glue. It works really well for me, it's pretty quick. And you can also use uh, PVA glue as well. Try not to use like just straight Elmer's white glue because it's just not very strong. Uh, but with the wood glue, it's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to take a really cruddy brush that I have here and uh, I'm going to get some wood glue here on the tip of my brush. And I'm just going to brush it onto the onto the base like so. Okay. Try not to get it onto the model. Uh, if you do, you have enough time that you can use a uh, like a clean brush and get it off of the model. Uh, it's not like a huge thing, but it's just if you're trying to be neat, um, you know, just kind of pay attention to what you're doing. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit goes a long way on the base of the model here. Okay. Now, what I like to do before I put it in the sand, you just put your brush in water is I'm going to take the rock and I put it right here like this right into the sand or I'm sorry right into the glue okay maybe one on the back here okay now I'm going to bring my sand over I'm going to place it right in the middle and then I'm going to grab something like a file and I'm just going to kind of kick some sand onto it Try not to move the move the rocks. Now uh, it's all covered. I'm gonna just kind of shake it off. I uh, will give it a nice little quick like quick breath. Just blow it off. There we go. Also, one thing you want to do is just this is something that I personally do is just run my thumb along the edge like this to catch all the little pieces that are hanging off off to the side okay there we go now you can then go back over and you can actually use your hobby knife kind of inspect the base here and look at the miniature at its feet and if you see any sand you can just kind of kick the sand off using the tip of your blade and to make sure that it's nice and clean. All right. So this is where we're going to stop for today. And this will conclude the first part of this tutorial. And that is to snip, clean, and then base. All right. Next time we'll come back and we'll learn about the, uh, about primers and uh, what else to actually use with it. Okay. Till next time. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.